Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, Zakhla Khadu Dawood for inviting me today. Uh, specifically, I want to thank uh, Brother Amin, MashaAllah. Uh, what an amazing story. Um, it never, MashaAllah, um, I've known Brother Dawood maybe 14, 15 years now. Um, my own story of coming to Islam isn't a particularly spectacular one, um, uh, but for most people who come to Islam, it, it is through interaction with the Muslims. Um, I've met very few people where there are, there are rare occasions where I've met people where you know they've maybe they've had some spiritual experience or some maybe some some dream has inspired them to kind of seek seek to know about Islam but ultimately it comes down to people's interactions and, and in essence dawah when one person invites another person to Islam and that's what happened to me back in 1999 um, it, uh, I remember the year specifically because Manchester United won the European Cup or the Champions League at the time and being a Liverpool fan that was uh, it was a terrible memory and one that I've not been able to lose, but um, Alhamdulillah, it was the year that I met a Muslim lady who came to stay at my parents' house. Um, uh, I wasn't living with my parents at the time, but I, I, I met this lady and um, I'd never met, or I don't recall meeting many Muslims before. I, I, I used to live in a, um, near Castleford, so it's not that dissimilar to the, the town we're in now, kind of white working class um, town, uh, you know, not very multicultural. I was brought up as a Roman Catholic, I used to go to church until I was 16. I was an altar boy, if anybody knows what an altar boy is. Uh, used to help the priest do, do the mass, that kind of thing. but. Um, um, even though I kind of lapsed as a Catholic, I continued, I, I still believed in God. And I remember, I remember as a child talking to God and, and definitely believing that there was a dialogue between me and Allah. Believe that as a child without a shadow of a doubt that, that I, I had no, I have no reservations as a child believing that and I had no reservations throughout life believing that. So when I met this Muslim lady and she started to tell me about Islam and she'd tell me things like, yeah Jesus was a Muslim, they'd be like, what? Jesus is a Muslim? No, oh, he's one of ours. He's not one of yours. And then Moses, no, no, and he's one of ours as well. You know, steady on. Anyway, alhamdulillah, when I got over the shock of kind of knowing, knowing this about um, Islam, um, um, because up until that point, in honesty, what I knew about Islam, you could write on the back of a postage stamp, and I think that's really symptomatic of the society still today. Maybe, maybe what people can write on the back of the postage stamp has changed slightly, in so much as Muslims are, you know, described as what terrorists. And, uh, misogynists and uh, the making us making us eat halal food you know um, and calling for Sharia law and all these things but ultimately people have such limited understanding of what Islam is um, and uh, you know back in 1999 I was I was one of those people you know uh, I was going about my life uh, my, my non-Muslim life and everything that entails uh, drinking, girlfriends, you know, the whole, the whole shooting match that, um, that people, that, that is normal to this society. You know, we, uh, I think Muslims often, um, think that maybe they look down on the non-Muslims because of their lifestyle. Um, but it's normal, it's, it, according to their Sharia, yeah, whichever Sharia they're following, it's all, it's all acceptable and normal, anyway, I'm really like. 
So I, I, I met this Muslim lady and uh, she told me about Islam and um, uh, there was an attraction. And I became Muslim uh, after doing my research and, and learning. And I, I came across this really, really good little book called The Brief Illustrated Guide to Understanding Islam. Because at the time, I meet Muslims and they kind of tell me about all sorts of strange things that would overwhelm me and, you know, pile here, have some more books, you know, before I became a Muslim, I had a library of Islamic books. <laughs> May Allah reward them all for their intentions, but honestly, it's, um, Islam, as, as I understand it, is really simple. And we, we, we as Muslims need to focus on that simplicity, because for me, that's what sets Islam apart, is the simplicity. Of, of, his, of it as a, of, as, a, as a theology, as a religion, as a belief. Because, you know, forget about everything else. Look at the revelation. Look at how the revelation came. Yeah. There was 23 years of revelation. How many of those years were spent focusing on Tawheed? Focusing on Allah? It was, it was at, at almost 50%. I think it was 10, 11 years before they were regularly praying before they were fasting, before they were doing zakah, before, before hajj, before all of these things. Now, I tell you now, when people kind of show the slightest bit of interest in Islam, you know, the prayer books are coming out and showing people how to make wudu and, and all these things, which, you know, they have the place, but the, the, I tell you what, they don't come before Allah and they don't come before the Rasul. Yeah, so... So anyway, alhamdulillah, I, I, I took my shahada about a year. It was, it was the August of 2000, I took my shahada. And I was living in Birmingham at the time. Um, and I was really isolated because I felt like I was the, I was the only, what was that, it used to be that TV show where the, um, I forget it now. I, I felt like I was the only white, I felt I was like the only Englishman, the only white person who had become Muslim. I was living in Birmingham. And anyway, so I, I kind of, I was a Muslim, but I, you know, I was doing nothing about it. I wasn't going, I wasn't praying, I wasn't doing anything, I, you know. I, I, but I really wanted to be a Muslim, but I didn't know how to be. And alhamdulillah, I, I moved, I made Hijra from Birmingham to, uh, to Leeds. And uh, I bumped into, uh, I bumped into Dawood at the, uh, the Grand Mosque in Leeds. If anybody's been to the Grand Mosque in Leeds, it's a special place. Mashallah, it's, it's really multicultural. It's one of those places where you, know, you can walk into it and nobody gives you a second look. And, and it's exactly what I needed. And I met, I met Mashallah, I met Dawood, who um, he, he really um, he made an effort. And I can see you know, what he's, he did for me back then and he's doing for the community here now. He made an effort. He stayed in touch, he invited me. And these are all small things that, you know, when you become Muslim, yeah, it's easy, the easy bit sometimes is taking the shahada. You know, you know, that, that, that's almost the start of the journey. But then it's kind of, it's kind of uphill from there, you know. And um, I'm sure some of the brothers know it, you know, it's, um, it's a struggle. But inshallah, um, they'll all make it easy for everyone. And, uh, you know, if I've said anything of benefit, um, it's from Allah and anything else, you know, please, please discuss.